Did you know that your emotions can actually harm your body? It's a notion that might seem far-fetched, yet the intertwining of our emotional and physical health is closer than we often realize. Our emotions, especially when they're negative, can significantly impact our physical well-being. This connection is deeply rooted in the way our body responds to these emotional states. For instance, when we're angry or stressed, our body releases hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, preparing us for a fight-or-flight response. While this reaction is helpful in dangerous situations, in our day-to-day -day lives, it can lead to chronic inflammation and other health issues when these emotions are sustained over a long period. But the impact of our emotions goes even further. It is believed that specific emotions can have a direct influence on particular organs in our body. For example, anger is said to weaken the liver, while grief can have a detrimental effect on our lungs. Worry can upset our stomach, stress can put strain on our heart, and fear can impair the functioning of our kidneys. It's clear that our emotions, particularly negative ones, can take a toll on our physical health if not properly managed. It's crucial to be aware of how your emotions can impact your body and to find healthy ways to cope and release them. Practicing relaxation techniques, seeking support from loved ones, and engaging in activities that bring you joy and peace are just a few ways to manage your emotional health. It's not just about feeling good emotionally, it's also about safeguarding your physical health. So the next time you find yourself overwhelmed by anger, grief, worry, stress, or fear, remember that your emotions are not just in your head. They resonate throughout your body, influencing your well-being in more ways than one. Understanding how your emotions affect your body is the first step towards better health. Remember, it's not just about eating right and exercising. Taking care of your emotional well-being is equally important in protecting your physical health. Anger is a powerful emotion that can wreak havoc on your liver. This might sound surprising, but let's delve into it. When anger takes hold, your body responds by releasing a cascade of hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. These stress hormones can cause inflammation and damage to liver cells over time. In fact, studies show that prolonged periods of anger can lead to a higher risk of liver disease. That's because anger can cause an increase in liver enzymes, which in turn can lead to inflammation and scarring, known as cirrhosis. So what can we do about it? It's crucial to find healthy outlets for your anger. Techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, or even a brisk walk can help you manage those intense feelings. Seeking professional help like a therapist or counselor can also be beneficial. They can provide tools and strategies to better manage your anger. Remember, your liver is a vital organ, and managing your anger can help protect it. Did you realize that your lungs can suffer when you are overcome with grief? It's a little-known fact, but the emotion of grief can actually have a profound effect on your lungs. This is due to the physiological connection between our emotions and our physical health. When we grieve, our bodies respond in kind, often leading to respiratory issues such as shortness of breath or even pneumonia. You see, grief is a heavy burden to bear and it can constrict our breathing, making it difficult for our lungs to function properly. It's as if the weight of our sorrow is pressing down on our chest, making each breath an effort. But all is not lost. The key to mitigating grief's impact on your lungs lies in seeking support and finding healthy ways to cope. This could be through counseling, meditation, or simply spending time with loved ones. Remember, it's essential to allow yourself to grieve, but also to seek help when you need it. Worry, stress, and fear are not just mental states. They can have physical repercussions, too. Imagine worry as a relentless, gnawing sensation seeping into the depths of your stomach, weakening it over time. This isn't just a metaphor. Worry can actually lead to stomach issues, including ulcers and other digestive problems. The connection between our brains and our gut is so strong that it's often referred to as the gut-brain axis. This means that the worry consuming your mind can directly affect your stomach health. Let's move on to stress. We've all experienced the racing heart, the sweaty palms, the feeling of being on edge. It's your body's response to a threat. However, when stress becomes chronic, it can lead to an increased risk of heart disease. Stress hormones such as cortisol can cause inflammation and damage to your heart over time. It's like a silent enemy, chipping away at your heart health without you even realizing it. Now let's talk about fear. It's a primal emotion, one that's been with us since our earliest days as humans. 
Fear can serve as a protective mechanism, but when it becomes constant, it can take a toll on your kidneys. Yes, you heard it right. Fear can lead to high blood pressure, which in turn can strain your kidneys, causing damage over time. But here's the good news. These negative emotions don't have to rule your life. There are ways to mitigate their effects. Relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, and yoga can help you manage these emotions. Additionally, engaging in activities that bring you joy and peace, such as painting, reading, or simply spending time in nature, can have a profound positive impact. Remember, it's not just about managing these emotions for the sake of your mental health. It's about protecting your physical health too. By taking steps to control worry, stress, and fear, you're not just improving your overall well-being, but you're also taking a proactive stance in preserving your physical health. Managing worry, stress, and fear is not just good for your mental health, but for your physical health too. So, can you see how deeply your emotions are intertwined with your physical health? It's quite fascinating, isn't it? We've journeyed through how anger can take a toll on your liver, how grief can undermine your lungs, and how worry, stress, and fear can weaken your stomach, heart, and kidneys respectively. It's clear that our emotional landscape has a profound impact on our physical health. This is why it's crucial to be mindful of our emotions and find effective ways to manage them. Whether it's through relaxation techniques, seeking support from loved ones, or engaging in joy-filled activities, it's essential to find what works for you. Remember, your emotional well-being is a key player in your overall health. Take care of your emotional well-being to protect your physical health. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe for more insightful content.